Okay, here we're going to uh, show you how to register um, your players. Okay, so this is the first time you're doing this, so there's a few extra steps. The first thing is, is first you go to the um, Surrey Female homepage, and you click on the registration link. Okay, then you're going to go to a page here that's going to talk about registration. Okay, the rest of this movie is only going to be relevant for returning players. If you're a new player or an out-of-town player, you simply click the links and download the documents and fill those out and then you mail them to the registrar at this address down here. Okay. It's also important to remember that there's going to be um, at least three checks. Okay. There's a registration fees, there's a jersey deposit and the volunteer deposit. The jersey deposit and the volunteer deposit are $100 first due March 31st and $200. Um, dollars. Okay, those need to be post dated and um, and you're good to go. The registration fees are going to, if you're a new player or an out of town player, is in the table below. If you're a returning player, it's going to be calculated for you as part of registering your player. Okay, so you click here and now you're going to go to this screen. Initially, you will not have an account. Okay, so what the first thing you're going to do have to do unless you have a player in another association then you may have an account okay so the first thing you're gonna have to do is create an account and the way you do that okay here we go okay step one I have read okay so this is basically three steps continue and you would enter an email so I can um, use one here I already have a different email but I'm gonna do this just so you can see um, what this looks like so you enter password, okay, security question, favorite color, okay, pink, and um, obviously this is not um, Don Murray, this is not the one I'm going to use, okay, by city address, and you would simply fill this out as Magdalene, okay, and I would enter my home phone number and work phone number, and that's it, I'm done. Okay, so that's how you would register. Once you've done that, then you'd be at the same point you would go um, after you log in. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to that page now. So now once you've registered, you're going to see how you have your profile information there. You have your various phone numbers. And now you're going to actually register a participant. Okay, I do not have anyone registered at this point, so we're going to walk through exactly how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to say register participant, and I do not know my daughter's hockey ID, but that's no worries. I simply enter her date of birth, okay, and um, the system will look it up for us. And of course, gender is a female and she speaks English. And I'm going to say register and match is found. Okay, so you scroll down and you'll see, hey, it found one. Well, that looks pretty, pretty good to me. So I'm going to say register now. Okay, and it knows her date of birth. Please choose the type. So I'm going to simply say she's a participant. Okay. Please select the division. Our, in our association, we've restricted the initial divisions based on age, so there's no choice there. Next. Okay. So I'm going to say um, she's not a goalie. Okay. If she was a goalie and I'm in time for early registration, which I am, I can simply click select that. If she was a goalie, I'd select that. Okay. Once the early registration has passed, you are not going to see early registration, so you're not going to have that option. You would just see Pee Wee regular and Pee Wee goalie regular, but I'm early, so there you go. I'm going to select this. Okay. Okay, now that I've done that, I simply register, um, fill in all the information. It says here that my address doesn't form to Canada Post Standards. Um, you can ignore all that. Um, and then you fill in your mailing address, 14462 Magdalene Crescent. Okay. Magdalene Crescent. And this is in White Rock. B, C, V, 4, B, 2, W, 2, 
Okay, you go down, you'll have to fill in the same thing for your guardian address. Okay, um, you'll need to do one, so you could say father or mother, or whatever you want to do, or guardian. Um, contact information, you again, you would pick one. Okay, so you could say father's name, in this case it's like this, and then I would pick in, the, this is a participant's um, phone number, so you put the home number where the participant could be reached, and then you again, I would say father, uh, or mother, doesn't matter, 604, let's go father, just to be consistent, and again, 604-544-1751. Okay, fill in your emergency contact information there. Okay, um, the position they want to play. So this is required. So defense. Um, then you got to agree to all the terms. This is the Surrey female terms. This is a Hockey Canada waiver. And um, the nice thing about this form is when you click review, it's going to tell you all the things that need to be done. Okay, so in this case, I haven't quite finished. So, and I can go through and um, you can see um, what I need to, uh, to fix. So just ignore that because I have it there. Um, but I didn't actually specify the father's address. So I would do that, you know, you'd fill all that in. And then once you've filled all that in, when you click um, review, it would in fact be done. Okay, so let's go do that Magdalene Crescent. White Rock. So the way I do it is I actually like these things because fill in the minimum and then you find out exactly what is needed. See, I need an email address. So this is a participant. Um, so put in an email there. Okay. Put in an email here. Like that. Okay. Um, contact Alexander, you know, Oh, that's her first name. Okay. Contact type. Um, we'll say home and we'll say 604. And obviously I would put a real number here. I'm just, I'm, so I'll put my home number here. Just, um, but you would put the contact number here. And, um, and then you go review. Okay. And it's, there you go. And everything is, is done. Okay, so that is, um, that's how you do it. So then you just simply say, add to cart or check out and um, you're done. Okay, and then you would do that. So you'd click check out. On that, now you can see I have my, um, this is my order history here and you can see my order history, you can see a message. So if I click on the message here, um, please click that. It gives you further, further, uh, further instructions on what you need to do. So here's what it says. Please remember to mail in a registration check. Okay, that's a 550. A jersey deposit for $100 post dated March 31st. A volunteer deposit, $200 post dated March 31st. And a carding fee if your daughter is going to try out to play rep. So that would be at the Pee Wee Bantam and Midget levels okay and that would be a hundred dollars post dated October 1st 2012 and there you go if you wanted to print it you could print it if you want to email it you can simply email it which is what I'm gonna do so there you go I you click that now it's emailed to me and it's all good and again you can see everything in there in your cart and that is how you do it